going on YouTube. Today's topic is the Community College of the Air Force. So this video only applies to enlisted Air Force individuals. When I joined the Air Force, I had some college and I knew I wanted to finish my degree, at least a bachelor's degree. Then I found out that the Air Force offers an associate's degree in your technical training. My first job, I was a firefighter. Therefore, I got a fire science associate's degree back in 1999. When I went to go visit the counselor at the education center on base, she said I was about five or six classes away from finishing my associate's degree. And I remember thinking, how is, I'm gonna, that's gonna take a long time. That's just five, six classes to get an associate's degree. I thought I was closer than that. Well, I stuck, at, I stuck with it and I took one class at a time, then a second and third. The good thing is that there are so many opportunities with education that here's what I did. I enrolled and I took the math class that I needed to. But I also took some CLEP testing, which stands for College Level Examination Program, which are free to service members, CLEP. Uh, and then another one is DANTES, and that one stands for Defense Activity for Non-Traditional Education Support. These are free courses that the Education Center offered. I reviewed the topic, and then I went in there after studying and took the test. I passed six out of seven. One of them which I didn't pass was health. I just walked in there one day, missed it by two points. The first one that I took was Spanish, and I got 12 college credits for that. So going back to these associate's degree that the Air Force offers, it is usually free, or you enroll for a course and the Air Force takes care of it. So I got a fire science degree. Um, part of that is six hours of management or leadership courses, which I didn't have. If you take Airman Leadership School, NCO Academy, Senior NCO Academy, you'll get these courses out of the way. But because I hadn't attended Airman Leadership School yet, I took these classes. I studied for two different courses in management, and luckily I passed them, and I was able to get my first associate's degree um, quickly, within about a year and a half after I joined the Air Force, and that was a good thing. Then I retrained, and I went back to tech school, technical training, and into personnel and I was able to get a second associate's degree in personal administration, human resources, which is good. From there, I was already motivated more than I was when I joined the Air Force. And I got a bachelor's degree, which the Air Force paid for. I got tuition assistance and I also applied for scholarships and uh, I was able to get some free money as well. They offered loans as well, but I didn't want loans, so I turned those down as being a financial individual. I got it for free. Then the Air Force paid for a master's degree, and that was it. That's the cap that I can go to. So that's the good thing. But let me talk about going back to this associate's degree with the Community College of the Air Force. There are so many um, majors. It's going to depend on what your job is for the Air Force. And what I have here, I'll show you real quick. Hopefully you can see this. All of these right here are programs offered by Community College of the Air Force. Whether you're in Intel, aviation, air and space, safety, meteorology, that is just one page. Then you have the second page. The list goes on, transportation, vehicle maintenance, whatever your job is, most likely the Air Force for the enlisted force has some type of program, degree program, that you can partake and complete your associate's degree. I'm in services right now, and there's, look at that, hospitality and fitness management, human resource management, so forth. It's four full pages. The best thing that you can do is type in Community College of the Air Force on the engine search on the internet and go to Air University's webpage. Actually, it's gonna be Community College of the Air Force, but everything is there. This is something that I printed off today. So for an associate in applied science degree, uh, here's an example. Uh, residency requirements, 16 semester hours, technical education, that is your tech school or upgrade training in your career field. Leadership management, six hours or two classes, which you can knock out. Physical education requirement. Believe it or not, basic training. You get some college credit for that for physical 
fitness. You need four hours and then you need some speech, things like that. Visit your education center, have the experts tell you how far you are, how far away you are from your completing your associate's degree and make sure you get that. Now, when I was going to separate after four years without a degree, a good mentor and friend of mine said, get your associate's degree, get your bachelor's degree, and then if you want to separate, you do so. So um, luckily I changed my mind and I enjoy the military, the Air Force. So I was able to just stay in and finish a lot of my school. The best advice I can tell you is no one's going to force you to make this happen. Um, and when I was reading the AFI for promotion, a lot of the lingo was, um, wording was, enlisted should get this for senior master sergeant, should get this for chief master sergeant for promotion in the future. Like I said, maybe that changes in the future, but as of right now, the, the wording is should. No one's going to force you to do it, no, but it, it's a good benefit, and you're probably already there or very close to completing your associate's degree as opposed to leaving the service without any type of degree. If you already have a bachelor's degree or master's degree, because a lot of our enlisted force already do, still get this. This is going to say that you are already an expert in your career field and that you took the time to get this degree, um, which is important. It says a lot about ourselves. Like I said, it's just a benefit that's out there. Some of the services, other branches may not have something like this, so take advantage of it. You take care.